Last week on Sailing Adrift. Knock, knock. Oh, Sorry, I didn't want to scare you. Sorry. Chris did a whole lot of sanding. And I did a whole lot of cleaning. There was a ridiculous amount of fairing compound. Time for more sanding. Chris expressed how much he hates this process. But after six rounds of sanding, cleaning, and fairing, that brings the total to... It was all worth it. Movie magic. This week we are ready for primer. It appears to be go time. Everything is masked off. All the uh, markings that I have. Um, we're gonna do the primer for the gray that's gonna go throughout most of this. That's the epoxy paint. Everything but the cabinetry and really that's it. Um, the toilet base, everything, the interiors of all the cabinets are gonna be gray. Uh, that's the stuff that's gonna be tough and strong. That thing's just gonna be an accent color. It's gonna be a, a blue that is basically black. Or will we change our minds? I'm looking forward to it, although I might miss this uh, hodgepodge of pink. I mean, it's kind of attractive, isn't it? We should just leave it like this. Whole place looks like it's been hosed down with Pepto Bismol. That's right, real man quote, steel magnolias. I like pink. Pink is my signature color. Here's what we're using. Don't worry, it's not pink. It's the Interlux Prime Coat. This is the good stuff. Two part epoxy primer. It's good enough for exterior use on the boat, on the top sides. We're gonna use it because it's gonna be in a shower, so it's definitely got a really good chance of getting wet frequently. I'm gonna mix this up, then we're gonna paint the backs of these. We're gonna paint the rim of this. We're gonna paint these guys that are hanging in here that are shelving and then we'll go up to the boat and paint all of that i think we might be able to get away with one coat but let's check this says to apply one coat and then let it cure overnight and sand it and then apply a second coat oh boy more sanding so i guess we'll do that okay let's make this place boring and white. This might take a while. Okay, all right. Hey, look at this place. That's the green room. I could take this off, but it stinks, so I'm not gonna do it for very long. All the priming is done. We've got the gray primer for the areas that'll be the true copper, and then we have the white primer for the areas that'll be gray, believe it or not. Once these areas have cured, tomorrow morning, um, we're gonna have to find ourselves something to do. We'll be able to paint the true copper, but we won't be able to, true, to paint the, uh, the gray areas with the epoxy paint, because that doesn't arrive till Monday. So, yeah, we'll paint the copper and start uh, finding other projects to do until that paint shows up. But I'm gonna call it a night, because it's dark out. Nighty night. Yes, this is the normal morning we need. Let's hope it stays this way. Doing some test fitting. Kelly, are you in here? Hi. What are you doing? Checking out your work. What do you think? It's pretty great. It's just primer, Kel. You always use pretty great on like half finished things. Well, it doesn't look great, it looks pretty great. Okay, back to the test fitting. I believe this one fits here. I wonder if we can get it in there. Hmm. That presents a challenge, it doesn't quite fit. I can cut it though. I'm gonna start myself a list. Okay, I've got my list of things to do today. Which is good, because the paint doesn't come till Monday and it's Saturday. So we gotta keep ourselves busy. 
You ready? Ready. Gotta keep ourselves busy and moving with more projects. Look at this piece of walnut. I thought it would be a lot more yellow, and there's definitely some yellow tones, but I love that like gray-brown, rich, warm color. This is a pretty piece. This piece might be the most attractive piece I've made. I think it looks awesome. I am in the paint room today, and I have quite a few cabinetry pieces to be painted, as well as the back of the door, and some shelves. First step, wiping everything down with acetone. I got to pick a color. I wanted to use this copper forever. Cause I'll, I changed my mind, I changed my mind. You ready? Yeah. This is the inside. Yeah, that's real good. Like if you were to have copper, but not like a false copper, more like a true copper. Oh. What's this paint called anyway? True copper. Oh. Gotta get a couple of coats on these insides, then we'll be able to flip them into the exteriors. Well, this looks awfully orange. Yes, yes. Here is it dried. This is a much more attractive, more of a true copper color over here. I love this color. Me too. Yeah? Yeah. It looks so much better dried than it does even wet, like you've got here. Ready for you to wipe down outside? Do you want to switch spots? Uh, sure. Or do you want to do this? I really don't know. Okay, I would be happy to take over. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go wipe stuff down now. Thanks. Do you want this? Sure. No, you don't. That to wipe it's just stuff garbage. Down. It's a wet, dry off my hands thing. Okay. All right, I'm gonna get to this. Later, dude. Uh, Here we are, prepping for that true copper. This is starting to trim. Need hmm. more light in there? Uh, probably, but get my headlamp or. Okay, I'll go grab it. I've returned. Thank you. With one headlamp. Now I'll be able to see. That's great. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm gonna orange it up in here. All right. True copper. I said, hey, guess what? What? I got a beer for you. Sweet. Is it a light beer? No. Because light beer is for <laughs> Coors Banquet. Let me open that for you. Well, you've done a lot in five minutes, that's for sure. It doesn't take a lot of time. You know, roller in hand, beer in the other hand. Mm -hmm. America. Did you, did you notice the toilet paper holder? I moved the hole so it was free rolling now? I did, actually. You did? Yeah. Oh. I raised it three-eighths of an inch after doing all sorts of math. You see, Kelly, mm -hmm. the uh, barrel of the toilet paper roller, holder. Roller. Holder. That's a good word. Yeah, anyway, it was one inch. And then the hole that we needed was five eighths of an inch. And so I raised it three eighths of an inch to accommodate the difference in the, the one inch holes versus the actual barrel of the toilet paper holder. Gotcha. And that got me to the three eighths inch raise. So this is three eighths inch above center. So it's a free roll even at full. How about that? That is exciting content. Because math, Kelly, <laughs> everybody loves it. Yeah. And there we have it. One orange vanity. Yeah, it's kind of orangey. It's called antique, or no, true, true copper. Copper. Which we've probably said 12 times already, so I don't need to say it again. At least. <laughs> How about that? How about that? And then tomorrow, we'll be able to see the, the true copper, true color. True yeah, and color. true daylight. Up in the boat, ready to wipe everything down one last time in preparation for paint. Real paint, not just primer. Now that that's all done, we are ready for paint. Still very thin, but the whole thing seems consistently thin. 
is big. Just like the fog on the coast. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, totes. Hello. Hi. I could use a headlamp if you wouldn't mind. Sure. Don't need it right away, but this stuff goes on pretty smooth. Yeah? Good. How does it look? It looks great. Good do I? No. <laughs> Not really like it. You do. Cool. I'll get you a headlamp. BRB. One headlamp. Styling. Thank you. You're welcome. While we wait for that to dry, Chris redoes his plumbing. So this line, this path, if we go like this with the Y valve, is the one that goes directly from the toilet down to the uh, sea below. The water line lives just below this pipe, like right about here. So we have about four to six inches above the water line is where this lives. But I was a little uncomfortable with that and then someone called me out in the comments so now I'm going to change it. The plan is to remove this, rotate this up, and then we're gonna go up, over, and down in this area using PVC and a hose barb, and then reconnect to this pipe lower down. So we lose this crooked bend, so win-win there, and we get higher above the water line to where I'm a little bit more comfortable. So that's the game plan first. And then we're going to tackle the finishing touches to the paint job in this room which is turning out really great and uh start putting everything together finally nothing ever works out like you think it's going to but we've got it and we actually ended up with more closet space than i was hoping because i thought the loop would come up over here and take up some room but it goes up from here around the back loops down and back into the pipe in pvc this is controversial People don't seem to like PVC on a boat, but uh, Nigel Calder is for it. Um, I've talked to several people that work on boats all the time and they've said that PVC is a perfectly usable product, plus it has a 0% permeation rate because it's solid. So as long as it's secured well and that's coming, it should be a great option. Ah, that may bite me in the ass, we'll find out. Everything seems to be working just fine. Of course, we'll have to test this to make sure, but uh, yeah, everything free flows and we've got ourselves a higher water line. We added probably, oh, four more inches to this. Tin is ideal and I would say with it being inboard a little bit, we're right at about that point. Tin plus is ideal. So we're still skirting it, but I'm, I'm happy with it. Now back to our paint job. The gray is two coat painted, and then I took a little cloth, like a little fine 2000 grit sanding sponge, and I sanded it all down to get all the bumps off and to dull it up a bit. Then I used a product called All Grip Cleaner, or plastic conditioner, and waxed it up. So it looks really great. Uh, there's definitely some flaws in this. I don't know if it's as good as the aft cabin ended up turning out but I'm very happy with it, and that's all that's important. We also did the True Copper, so that's pretty much taken care of too. And a little toilet paper nook has been painted. All this is gonna need wiped down, and I bet you money we'll end up putting one more coat on this at some point, but right in the middle of wiring, electrical for the uh, red light, and then we're going to wire up the switch and the vanity light, and bring one in for a future shower light right there. So that's what we're working on. Pull the tape off there, put the plate cover on. We're starting to put things together. It's gonna come together and look fantastic. Hey you, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw and you wanna keep following along, become a subscriber. Just hit that subscribe button below. And special thanks to our patron crew. We really appreciate your support. You already said that. Nobody knows that. Oh. Don't push so hard, babe. Limp wristed. You know who make the best painters? Homeless. Or some part of the words they say maths. Did which they? actually makes sense. Because it's mathematics with an S. Mm -hmm. 
So why do we just say math? Why wouldn't we say maths? I don't know. I think the Brits are right there too. Hate to admit it, cause America. <laughs>